Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have missed you guys so, so much. Uh, welcome back to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is uh, Solar and I mainly do uh, Sims 2 and Sims 3 videos on my uh, YouTube. So we are in another part of uh, Let's Play uh, The Sims 2 A Pleasant View, but this time we are with the Dreamer family. So I do have Darren Dreamer here as well as Dirk. And uh, this is a family that I hardly ever played back in the day. And uh, it's going to take me just a minute just to get really familiar with like the family and everything like that. Um, so let's go ahead and learn a little bit more about Darren, uh, shall we? So let's see. So starting off with his personality, he is going to be uh, sort of sloppy, a little bit more on the shy side, a little bit lazy, but he is going to be playful and overall a nice a sim. His bio, Darren has missed his wife ever since her death. Will he ever get another chance at love? So from what I am learning, Darren's wife obviously passed away, leaving Darren and Dirk to basically live by themselves. Um... Let's go ahead and take a look at interest. So he has interest in food, uh, work, toys, sci-fi, even the paranormal. Uh, he has no hobby enthusiasms whatsoever. Let's take a look at his memories. So he remembers, of course, woohooing with Darlene. Uh, he remembers having Dirk, getting a promotion, even a potty training uh, Dirk. But he also remembered Darlene dying. He also uh, remembers Dirk not doing too well in school and it looks like he also quit his job which makes me wonder what he really was doing he was just so unhappy that he just you know he just said you know peace you guys like I am just gonna leave maybe it was sort of you know he wants to try something new get out of that you know like a toxic toxic environment things like that and he also remembers uh, Dirk growing up badly but another thing is he also fell in love with Cassandra. So we all know from the last part when I played the goth family, there was a little bit of drama with Cassandra and Don Lothario. So we already know the backstory between Cassandra and Don. So Cassandra in the long run, she is just doing her right now. She deserves completely better than Don Lothario. But my question is, is Darren going to be that good, you know, guy for Cassandra? So I guess like only time will tell. So he does have a pretty high relationship with Cassandra. That's something that I might try to pursue, but we will see you guys. Um, he is currently unemployed. So if he's going to try to land Cassandra, he needs to get a job. Like, I'm sorry, you guys. So his aspiration, he has the knowledge aspiration, but he also wants to become a city planner. So he basically wants to be in the architecture career. So that's something that we are going to try to get him into and if I can't get him into it today I might just go ahead and cheat you guys like I'm sorry like I have downloaded mods for the sims 2 that have made the game so much better so I might just go ahead and do that so he has zero aspiration points right now uh but let's go ahead and do maybe uh the Go ahead and do the life of luxury. I have a feeling that he's going to want to focus on work a little bit more. Let's go ahead and just do that. And as for Dirk, so this is his teenage son right here. So he is in a relationship with uh, Lilith uh, Pleasant, which is the last family that I am going to play in Pleasant View. So he is an A minus student, you know, not too bad and not too bad at all. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at his personality. So he's a little bit more on the neat side. He is a little shy. He's a more active, um, kind of like on the serious side. And he's pretty much overall a nice sim. So his bio, though it's been hard without his mother, Dirk has made every effort to do well in all areas of life. And honestly, you guys, I can see that how he is performing in school. So I am kind of guessing that with his mother passing and everything like that, what's going on in this household, that maybe he kind of escapes from uh, that kind of reality and just kind of like, you know, gets lost like in his, you know, homework and like schoolwork and, you know, like things like that. And he definitely has Lilith to definitely keep him a little bit preoccupied. So 
I mean, if you can kind of like guess, like if you look around the house, like look at this, we already have like bills piling up. So 255 bills, uh, 268 simoleons. So this is their house right here. So it is a pretty, pretty big house. So we obviously have Dirk's room right here along with like a little uh, bathroom, living room. So it's overall a nice place. Let's go up to the second level. So I am assuming that this is going to be Darren's master bedroom and this is more kind of like uh, like a little like studio because uh, Darren is more into the creativity skill so this is where he comes to kind of like escape and to like paint and all that stuff yeah you guys so how is everyone like I miss everyone so so much and I apologize for not recording as much as I really wanted to uh, I have just been super super busy with you know just like life I have been working almost uh, like every other day at work so I have been kind of like busy doing that let's go ahead and pay all bills you guys look at us like we are gonna be broke we are definitely definitely broke you guys so yeah so i yeah i apologize when i'm not really recording as much i still want to record of course um but for right now i feel like recording the sims 2 is like a little bit more easier for me right now because the sims 3 i don't know i still love the sims 3 you guys and i'm still with my generations family like don't get me wrong but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it you guys like <laughs> forgive me oh it looks like the school bus is here okay so come on let's go ahead and go to school Okay, and as for Darren, let's go ahead and use the bathroom because uh, our needs are kind of down. Uh, we low-key also want to give him a little makeover, so let's go ahead and change of, change of appearance. Um, so it's pretty crazy that I only have like one more family in the Pleasant View, um, which is like the Pleasant family. Um, if you guys have been enjoying this, I have uh, also more ideas to kind of do this with like other neighborhoods as well, like maybe... Uh, I don't know, like maybe Strange Town. Strange Town has been something that, you know, has kind of like piqued my interest because of the whole like Bella Goth thing. And like, you know, Bella, you know, mysteriously kind of like showing up in Strange Town. I was kind of thinking about doing something like that. And plus, you know, like I really like playing with like, you know, that subject guy or something like that. So let's go ahead and just find him just like a simple makeover. Um, just like a simple hair, um, nothing like too crazy or anything like that. Like this is completely fine. Let's go ahead and take that off. Okay, you guys, he already looks so much better. So let's go ahead and uh, call up a Cassandra. Let's go ahead and invite her over because, uh, you know, it's been a while since we talked to her. Let's go ahead and check up on her. We did kind of hear on the grapevine that uh, Don Lothario was cheating on Cassandra with like other women so i think darren kind of finds it as an opportunity to kind of step in and kind of be like the good guy and hey, be the guy that lead? you know that she what can overall uh, you know cry on his shoulders so yes you can go ahead and invite your friend too girl go on ahead so let's go ahead and um uh, let's see let's go ahead and order some pizza there we go Okay, forty dollars for pizza. Um, okay. Okay, so my pizza is on its way. Good, good, very good. Okay, so who did we bring? So Alan Thomason. Let's go. Let's go ahead and greet. Okay, and let's go ahead and greet Cassandra. And look at Cassandra. She is just completely furious with Don after what Don has done to her and everything like that. So let's go ahead and see if we can get on Cassandra's good side because as you may know, like in the last part, Cassandra is a little baddie. So after what like Don did to like Cassandra and everything, like I felt so bad for her. Um, she completely deserves a little bit better, but my question is, is uh, Darren going to be that special someone that Cassandra can pretty much get along with so let's go ahead and accept the pizza oh my god did she fall in love with us i think she did let's go ahead and accept delivery thank you just give me that pizza girl give me that pizza okay go ahead and grab a slice 
and when we are done let's go ahead and appreciate cassandra a little bit more let's go ahead and admire we definitely want to admire her for just staying strong after what happened with dawn and everything like that so okay so let's go ahead and continue talking to her let's entertain let's go ahead and tell a joke let's go ahead and flirt a little bit more so let's go ahead and check sim out uh, let's go ahead and goose her just a little bit you know a little harmless flirting never really hurt anyone so <laughs> Yeah, you guys, so I have been like enjoying like as I've said before like The Sims 2 so much I have been kind of thinking about making like my own LP or I could be kind of just like You know kind of like do like a let's play like the towns and kind of like played like through like the pre-made townies already um, I don't know you guys. I don't know Let's go ahead and bring up our fun just a little bit And let's go ahead and ask her to join so where is that option? Come on, girl. Let's go ahead and ask Cassandra to join. There we go. And girl, if you can like just uh, get out of our way, like girl, swerve, move. <laughs> okay, so we are getting a relationship up with Cassandra, which is really good. And so we are best friends with her. So it wouldn't be that hard to really like make our moves, you know, like with her and everything like that. So let's go ahead and cuddle with her. Let's go ahead and just like make out with her. And oh my god, who is this? Oh my god, we have Brandy Brogue visiting us. Who else? We have Nina Caliente. Okay, let's go ahead and greet everyone. Go ahead and get off of Cassandra. Please get off of Cassandra. Holy crap. Okay, go ahead and greet everyone. Because we do need to make some friends. Okay, and it looks like Darren is officially home. Or did I call him Darren? I meant Dirk. Oof. So let's go ahead and talk to Nina Caliente. Kind of see what this girl is up to. I was about to say like a bad word right now, but like oof. Okay, so it looks like we have like zero attraction to like Nina Caliente. I think because we kind of know that she has a certain reputation in town. So, you know... I think that we're just gonna stay away from her, but you know, it doesn't mean that you know we can be cordial with her. So you know, let's go ahead and open up our our little gift right there. And as for Dirk, let's go ahead and call up Lilith and see what she is up to. Let's go ahead and invite her over too. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna definitely call Lilith, and we are gonna go ahead and invite her over. And I love how everyone is just like enjoying themselves, just like eating pizza. It's honestly a good time, you guys. Like any time with pizza, it's a good time for me. So yeah, let's go ahead and just like entertain this chick right here with a joke, whatever, until Lilith uh, comes over. And as for Darren, why are you being so antisocial? And I go ahead and let's go ahead and ask Gilbert to join. Okay, and Lilith is officially here, so let's go ahead and greet her. Oh, girl. Okay. I honestly cannot wait until I can play uh, the Pleasant Family, because the Pleasant Family in The Sims 2, they're one of my like favorite families like in The Sims like franchise overall as well, so I can't wait to kind of like dive into like their backstory and see what they're all about. You know, things like that. So let's go ahead and be a little bit more friendly to a brandy. Oh, and it looks like we also have a little attraction to her. Okay, so let's go ahead and entertain her with a joke. Let's go ahead and chat with her. And maybe let's go ahead and uh, do a little suggestion. I don't know if we should do that with Cassandra here. Yeah, let's not go ahead and blow our chances. Why don't we? So. And it looks like we're going to play some ball or something like that. Okay. Yeah, I feel really bad for Brandy. Like, I remember I just like loaded up the house like really fast, and then like next thing I know, like bam, 
Homegirl is uh, pregnant already, which I have no idea how she's even pregnant because she has no relationships with any other dudes and uh, which can only mean that maybe like her late husband recently died or something like that. So let's go ahead and uh, stop talking to her. Let's go ahead and uh, romantic kiss a Cassandra. Ooh, there we go. And uh, can we actually... We actually have uh, no closet up here, but let's go ahead and relax and let's go ahead and ask her to join. We're not going to woohoo right now. We're just going to take her up to the bedroom. We're just, you know, we're just going to spend some one on one time with her. We're just going to, you know, get to know her just a little better. We're going to make her feel a little better because the things that she's been through, you know, they absolutely suck. So she, uh, you know, he wants to be the kind of guy that, you know, the comfort her and things like that. So we're going to cuddle her. <laughs> We're just going to kiss her. We're just going to make out. And we're just going to go ahead and just enjoy that. We are going to stop playing. And let's go ahead and clean up. What other relationships do we have? Okay, so we have Angela Pleasant, so which I believe is Lilith's uh, sister. So we definitely have to like get to know everyone else. Um, let's go ahead and let's have him go use the bathroom. And hello, dude, can you, like, do you mind? So let's go ahead and tell this guy a joke. Since, you know, he likes to walk in on us and just, like, watch us. Like, okay. Oh, my God. I love when Sims tell jokes and, like, they just, like, bust up laughing like that. It's hilarious. Let's go ahead and just, like, end up doing homework, you guys. And I think it's going to be a little bit late. So let's go ahead and ask everyone to leave. Okay, so where is everyone? Okay, so let's go ahead and ask everyone to leave. And girl, don't be fighting in my own house. Just go ahead and buy. Bye, girl. Bye. And let's go ahead and serve up some mac and cheese. Ooh, who is calling us? And who are you, Magnus? Okay, I'm not even going to try. Uh, no, let's go ahead and stay here because I literally do not know you. So let's go ahead and serve up some dinner. And as for Dirk, Dirk, it is time for you to do some homework. So we definitely need to upkeep those grades. Okay, I hate when that happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and drag this. Okay, just like that. I don't know if it's like a glitch or something. But it always happens like whenever I play off camera. So let's go ahead and do some homework. Yeah, so it's really interesting how Darren is uh, pretty much like really, really in love with Cassandra. Considering that he knows that Cassandra just recently broke up with Dawn and things like that. Um, and really, ooh, I kind of forgot <laughs> to like get him a job. Um, considering that he's unemployed too, like, ooh, like, I really don't think that Cassandra is really gonna go for him because he is unemployed, so we definitely have to change that. So I believe the computer is in his inventory. Yep, there we go. So let's go ahead and uh, place that down, and when he is done making food, we are gonna go ahead and uh, find a job. Okay, and girl, who is uh, calling us? Uh, Jesus. Okay, uh, hey Darren, is Dirk available? Nope, he is uh, doing homework, but uh, bye. So let's go ahead and put away leftovers. Let's go ahead and use the bathroom. And oof, he needs to also take a shower too. Okay, and uh, Dirk is almost done with his homework. That is uh, good news because we can also kind of focus on other things as well. Maybe we can kind of sneak out with a little. And I kind of like do our own thing, but we'll yeah. see. We will see. So let's go ahead and play The Sims 3. Oof. I'm over here like, oof, like I really mean to play The Sims 3, but you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and have my Sims play The Sims 3 for me, so. Oh, we also have a computer down here, you guys. Oof, I did not know that. Okay, so honestly, you guys, let's go ahead and sell this guy right here for 720 simoleons because we actually need the money. Um, let's go ahead and keep this computer right here and uh, let's go ahead and uh, find a job. So let's go ahead and see what we can get into. So if the architecture career is not available, 
you guys, then I am going to cheat and <laughs> get him his architecture job because I do want that for him. Um, because honestly, you guys, he deserves it. So we have the education career. Look again. Okay, so what else are we going to find? Oh my god, you guys. There is an opening in the architecture career track as a cement mixer. Hours 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. We are definitely going to take that job. Holy crap, what are the odds? Okay. So let's go ahead and, you know, spend some quality time with our son, you know... Just because, you know, our late wife recently passed away, we don't want him to feel lonely, things like that. So we, you know, we naturally want to be there for Dirk. We want to see him, like, succeed, things like that. We want to make sure that he's on the right path, that he doesn't do anything dumb, anything like that. You know, with the proper guidance, you know, that wouldn't be hard at all. But, you know, is, uh, is Darren going to really have time for that when he really wants to focus mainly his majority of the time finding other love? So, I don't know, you guys. We should we should see about that. So, Dirk has gained enough enthusiasm in games to talk about it with other sims. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, and uh, Darren, or I'm sorry, Dirk, my god, can I stop mixing up their names? So let's go ahead and uh, get some leftovers, and let's go ahead and just uh, get some uh, mac and cheese. Okay, let's go ahead and put everything away. Let's go ahead and actually clean up everything too. Okay, so does he actually start work? Okay, you guys. So he has a work tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. I absolutely cannot wait. He currently has two friends right now, but we don't need any more friends uh, to get a promotion. But the more promotions that we do get, the more friends that we are going to re be required to get. So we are going to have to definitely work on that. Um, uh, Dirk, uh, go ahead and sleep in pajamas down here because that is not your bed. So... Uh, Go ahead and just uh, get into bed. Okay, you guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. So uh, we got to play a little bit of the Dreamer family. So I am a little bit more familiar with them now. So it's kind of like, it kind of reminds me of like the Broke family in a way that Brandy's a late husband passed away and like left her with uh, other children as well. Uh, similar to how uh, Dirk and Darren's. Well, I'm sorry, Darren's uh, wife kind of like left abruptly and, you know, left everything, you know, up to his shoulders. So he does have a lot of responsibility on his hands and things like that. So it kind of reminds me of like Brandy Broke in a way um, because like they both started off as unemployed and like they both started off as like not having a lot of money. So we definitely have to like fix that. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this part, definitely please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, talk to me in the comments. And I love you guys so, so much. And I just want to say thank you a million times. Thank you for the support. I definitely would not be recording this without you guys. So I freaking miss you guys and I love you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling now. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Goodbye, everyone.